It is with humility and joy that I announce to you uh, that God has given our apostle a helper, a wife who shall be a personal companion and sufficient helper to him. On the 4th, 4th of May 2024, during our Revelation Gathering program, we shall be celebrating the marriage of our dear Apostle and the whole JRM family is hereby invited to come and celebrate with the household of faith as well as the Chuenga family. But good news, good news, good news. Apostle Chuenga is remarried or is married again uh, after five years since the passing of his uh, late wife rejoice chuenga and this is breaking 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 news i'm telling you this has been announced about a few hours ago i was in church when this was announced by pastor gerald baloy and i happened to get to know this breaking 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 news of ziklag was nervous terrified and confused that was a heartbreaking moment when the whole JRM family was faced with three funerals at the same time, coupled with a dilemma of not knowing whether he was going to survive those injuries or not. We are very thankful to God that the enemies of the gospel did not have their way. Uh, the Lord preserved his life for our benefit to fulfill the scripture below. Nevertheless, to abide in the flesh is more needful for you. And having, his conf having this confidence, I know that I shall abide and continue with you all for your furtherance and joy of faith. Philippians chapter 1, verse 24 and 25. Number five, the life of our apostle was preserved by God when men wanted to end, to end it because the Heavenly Father wanted to see us being feathered in the gospel and increasing in the joy of faith. Talent Farai Chuenga is God's gift to us who believe, and God could not allow men to take it away, away uh, arbitrarily. It is with humility and joy that I announce to you uh, that God has given our apostle a helper, a wife who shall be a personal companion and sufficient helper to him. On the 4th, 4th of May 2024, during our Revelation Gathering program, we shall be celebrating the marriage of our dear Apostle and the whole JRM family is hereby invited to come and celebrate with the household of faith as well as the Chuenga family. Number seven, it is imperative to note that this occasion is not a wedding. It shall be a celebratory occasion where my Chuenga shall be introduced to the members of the household of God. The servant of God married his wife according to the cultural procedures of his people and as required in the gospel of Christ that he preaches, hence there will be no wedding on this day. So Apostle Shwenga is uh, remarried after five years. So I'm going to wear the jacket of a believer in Jerem and wear the jacket of a journalist. I, have, I will wear this jacket of a journalist because I happen to be a believer in the church and Apostle Shwenga being a prominent figure in the Zimbabwean circles, uh, this is what is happening. So now I want to make a comment on uh, why this decision now. I want to give you my opinion based on uh, when Apostle Chuenga lost his wife and the stance that he took for some years. I, I looked at him as someone who was so dedicated to the ministry and to see the ministry grow rather than pursuing having a relationship with someone. The reason why I believe this is... Uh, I look at the Jesus Revelation ministry as a ministry and say uh, the position that he was in when he met when he met his uh, late wife 
uh, the late uh, teacher Joyce Chwenga. He was not yet prominent. So the situation then and the situation now is different. I'll tell you why it is different. I personally believe that the stance or where Apostle Schwenger is, uh, it is, it was now a difficult position for him to find a life partner in the sense that you don't know whether the person that you are getting married to, are they now attracted to your fame and your prominence and your strength in the society and the following that you command? What are they in love with? You see, if you look at prominent figures like uh, one of them, like uh, Lionel Messi, he, he married his childhood uh, sweetheart. So this woman loved Lionel Messi before he was having a balloon duo and everything and all of that. So it is very easy for someone to say, for this woman to commit and to be loyal to a person whom they don't know what they are going to be in the future. So, I believe that Apostle Chwenga was in a difficult position to find a wife, especially in the church or even outside the church because he is now a prominent figure and everyone knows about him. So, I personally believe that the reason for the delay was to find a suitable person and to study them and to know whether they have got pure intentions of marrying a person despite of their position. That is my view. And the second thing that I also think why Apostle Chwenga had to marry now was the fact that you recall last year there was that uh, leak of audio of a conversation that he had with someone. Um, uh, and he, he, I think uh, my friend Zigo uh, published that one. I refuse to comment on that one because I felt that it was a controversial issue and he addressed it, so I thought it was well enough. But what I then felt was that uh, would, uh, created a bit of, you know, skepticism in the church and other people saying, ah, maybe Apostle Shwenga is in love with this one, is in love with this one. So what is happening? So to just quell that and to make sure that there is no one now who is now saying, I am a potential, you know, because as God was, you have a you know, people will be saying, hey, I want that. And I can bet you. I don't know, I don't know if I can allow to bet. I can tell you clearly that uh, the position that Apostle Schwenger was having, no woman or no girl in the youth would uh, refuse a proposal from Apostle Chwenga. That I can tell you. That I tell you because of his position, because women are attracted to power. And you see the power that pastors have or the power that even politicians have or power that have prominent people have, women are attracted to that. So it, it puts him in a very difficult position to find a perfect person. So we are waiting for the 4th of May so that we can go and celebrate that. And I unapologetically uh, being a mahana, a mahana wa mama, I'm going to go and... Uh, celebrate that God willing and I'm praying that I get resources to go there and celebrate. So that is the announcement and I wanted to give you my reasons why this announcement was made and this is my comment.